What is going on, everybody? So today I'm going to be making a metal Iron Man arm rocket launcher thing. So I've never really done anything with metal before. I bought some aluminum bar, so I'm going to try to bend it into a little arm thing. I don't know what to call it, like an exoskeleton arm. And yeah, hopefully I didn't waste 20 bucks on that metal, so let's go get right into it. Alright guys, so we finished the arm thing here. This thing took a lot longer than I thought. It took around a week to do. And I'm pretty surprised that this thing came out looking decent. Because I've never really done anything with metal before. So I probably won't show the build process for this thing because it's pretty boring. So now I'm going to try to hook up all these servos so that with the press of a button, these two open up at the same time, followed by this one. I'm going to have to learn how to do servo code and stuff because for my other ser servo project, I just copied it. So this one I'm actually going to have to do myself because I don't think there's going to be something for this specific of a thing. So let's go do that. It's been like 20 minutes and this thing is not working at all. Finally got this thing working. Now I just have to figure out a way to do the same thing with these. And right now I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. So hopefully this doesn't take like an hour or two or maybe three, I don't know. Alright, so this is not working. I'm gonna try to just make it work with one. I have no idea how, but I'm gonna hope I'm gonna try it and I'll see you guys once I have some sort of idea of what I can do. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is put the servo motor here and then attach a popsicle stick to one side and then attach some 3D printed thing or metal thing to the other side. So then when it's closed, it's closed, but then when you press the button it opens up and then it pushes both of the sides out so that there's room for something to come out. All right, so I got a new plan. I'm gonna put this servo in the back and then instead of moving these things out, it's gonna push the rocket launcher part up move and then also move the things out instead of needing to use two different arduinos because i don't know how to code so let's go do that Alright, so now that we got this thing done, or at least this part, I've got to add 
the little system thingy that I made for the flamethrower, I'm just gonna attach that to the back. So basically all I did was I taped all the Arduino stuff on here. And I also made this button longer so you can just press it like this. And I also ate this whole thing of peanuts in two days. So yeah, let's go connect the one thing for the flamethrower right on the back here. It'll probably just plug in and then it'll all go in a backpack or something. All right, so we got this thing all finished. So basically how this thing works is, I'm not, I think this, this red button, yeah, the red button, when you click it, it, this, the rocket launcher part, that's gonna be down. And then when you click it, it goes up, ready to aim and shoot straight. And then when you press this black button, that opens up the solenoid valve, which lets all the propane out and then it just shoots it out like that. So if you wanna see how I, how I made this whole part, I made it in the flamethrower video, my most recent one. So go check that out if you want to see. And yeah, so for the things I'm going to shoot, I'm going to find a little metal tube thing, probably fill it with hot glue, and then you stick it in there, and then it'll shoot it out like that. And I'll probably also find some other things to shoot out of this. So yeah, let's go test this thing out. Ooh, this thing looks so cool. All right, so I, I shot the one thing, I lost it, so now I'm gonna just shoot a grape. Cause that's the best thing I can. Oh no, it's not working. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Now for the next few videos, I'm probably gonna be working on the electromagnetic Spider-Man web shooter project. Now this might be a multiple part series cause I, I just, I'm not sure how long it's actually going to take to make. I also need to order a battery charger because I have the battery but not the charger for it. And the charger's like 60 bucks, so I'm going to have to save up for that. And then once I get that, I'll be able to test it. So see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and comment some of your project ideas in the comments below. See ya.